or water solution. Um, now, pH has a sliding scale from 0 to 14. Avery, would you like to show us that sliding scale? Perfect! Now, as Avery has so beautifully drawn out for us here, the um, pH scale starts at 0 and goes all the way up to 14. Now, your neutral space is... Oh! <laughs> 7! And what do you think is a, a neutral substance? Um, water. Exactly! A neutral substance is water. That is indeed the neutral substance at pH balance of 7. Now, um, the higher you go above 7 is the more alkaline that you have in a, in a substance. <laughs> so, the higher you go is more basic, and then below seven you go is an acidic um, substance. So, seven is your neutral space. The higher you go above seven, the closer you get to 14, the more alkaline you have going, or base. And then the lower you go, below seven, is more acidic. Now today's project is featuring two super acidic substances. Two of my favorites, actually. One of them is lemons, which has a pH balance of... One. Two. Oh. <laughs> That's lemons. And then vinegar, which has a pH balance of... One. Th three. <laughs> uh, which one's one? Nothing. Now, uh, lemons and vinegar are a great example of acidic substances, but a really good example of a basic or alkaline substance is one of my favorites, sodium bicarbonate. Do you know what sodium bicarbonate is? Mm -mm. Baking soda. And we learned all about baking soda and sodium bicarbonate in carbonic colors just a few weeks back right here in the Mad Science Room. I'll make sure I link to that somewhere else in the description box. We're working with acids today, two and three, lemons and vinegar. And then we talked about a nice base a few weeks back, baking soda. Sodium bicarbonate. Now let's get back to our project. We are going to make non-toxic, homemade glass and window cleaner. Oh yeah! Yay! <laughs> do you like doing chores? No. Yes, you do! Especially since you're going to make your own cleaner! First thing you need for this project is a an empty spray bottle. I went and got one. This one was probably about three bucks. This one is also industrial size. Isn't it fabulous? Yes. For this project, you're going to need your white distilled vinegar, a half a cup of this. You're also going to need your lemons. How much do you think you're going to need of this? One, three. A tablespoon. And you're also going to need a little bit of rubbing alcohol. <laughs> so I'm measuring cups and utensils. We're going to use a half a cup of our liquids. Um, and a tablespoon of our lemon, uh, which is also a liquid technically. Um, and you're also going to need a half a cup of water. So we're going to mix those things together and see what happens. for about two minutes. 
This sort of smells like your most popular brand window cleaner that you can buy in the store. Wink, wink. Now, if you were going to try to use vinegar or uh, lemons all alone uh, to clean something, it might be a little bit harsh for things like wood and other like natural substances that you might find in your house. By adding water, which is a neutral, um, a neutral pH, which is seven, uh, adding water to a two or three brings it down to about a five or a four, which is way safer to use on everyday household surfaces. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the solution that we've been mixing for about two minutes into our spray bottle. Perfect. For approximately 10 cents, <laughs> we just made almost 14 ounces of solution cleaner. This is going to cut down on your household expenses enormously. Now let's go clean some windows. <laughs> Now that is streak free shine, my friends. Yeah! So, everybody, there you have it. That is how you make at home window cleaner out of acids on the pH scale, lemons, and vinegar. For more projects like this and more, say crazyatmc.com. Crazyatmc.com, <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Twitter handle, Aunt Lindsay, and as always, I'm on Facebook. What's my Facebook name? Crazy Aunt Lindsay. <laughs> crazy Aunt Lindsay. This is Crazy Aunt Lindsay, everybody, and we made window cleaner today. Bye! Bye. <laughs>